Hello, everyone. I'm Certified Natural Healthcare Practitioner Erin Thole, and today I'm here with Colton Thayer from Way Labs, and we are talking about blood pressure, um, what that actually means, like giving it a really good breakdown as to what that means for your body, what's happening in your body, um, some different scenarios and things of that nature, and just kind of really um, giving you a good education on that, um, as well as some, some things that you can do to help balance out your blood pressure naturally, which Colton and I help people do quite frequently. Um, I do want to say that this video is not intended to be medical advice. We're not here to treat, cure, prevent any disease or anything like that. So, um, always check with your practitioner of choice before you switch anything up. So how are you doing, Colton? Doing good. It's a Friday. <laughs> Yay, Friday. Um, awesome. So today we're going to talk about blood pressure. So just kind of want to give everyone just a little bit of a background of what blood pressure actually is. So you have your top number and then you have your bottom number. I think we most people know that, you know, that top number is supposed to be right around 120. Your bottom number is supposed to be around 80. Um, that top number, the systolic number, is the number that's basically measuring the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. And then the bottom number, the diastolic, is measuring the pressure in your arteries between those beats. So basically when your heart is, you know, quote unquote, resting. Um, so the higher those numbers are, the more your heart is essentially working to pump blood through the arteries. And when that's happening, there's typically a lot of inflammation systemically throughout the body for various types of reasons. Um, and we're going to talk on a multitude of those today. And that can range anywhere from, um, you know, just situational, like sometimes your blood pressure will go up only when you're at the doctor's office, um, or only when you're in, you know, a stressful situation and things like that. Those are natural occurrences. It's part of your, your body's ability to, um, run from the bear and things like that is that adrenaline pump and that, that blood pressure going up when we're kind of faced with what our body is perceiving, our mind is perceiving as danger. So a lot of people only have high blood pressure when they go to the doctor, um, or are going into a big meeting or, you know, something like that. Um, you could have high blood pressure because your minerals are out of balance or because there's some kidney dysfunction or some liver dysfunction because there's a systemic infection that you don't know about. The blood pressure will go up whenever there's an infection. And there's a lot of people walking around with all kinds of crazy infections that they've had for years and years and years that they have no idea that they have. They just have some weird different symptoms and um, things like that, that they just kind of live with and have lived with for a long period of time, digestive issues and rashes and skin conditions and insomnia and, you know, thyroid issues and things like that, that could actually be rooted in a systemic infection and blood pressure being up um, and not being able to control, especially people that are on like three, four different blood pressure medications, which is kind of insane, um, but relatively common. Um, you know, a lot of times the reason the blood pressure isn't getting under control is because there's infection in the body and there's massive amounts of inflammation and, and deficiencies and things like that. So um, we're going to dive into a little bit of that today. I want Colton to kind of talk about um, the traditional Chinese medicine approach and what high blood pressure means in in that world and what what y'all do about it. We do the herbs. We do the <laughs> blood pressure. Um, one thing I did want to touch on is I talk to a lot of uh, kidney patients, right? And one mm. of the reasons they get kidney disease it's because they've had blood pressure issues for years and years, right? And they're taking meds for it, Lasix, they're taking beta blockers, whatever, right? And they're always concerned with the systolic number, typically, right? They're like, it's like 180 over 100, which obviously that's concerning. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm almost more concerned about the diastolic because that's like your constant tension. It doesn't go lower yeah. than the number, right? And that's like yeah. constant um, and when I look at it, it's like, you ever take a pressure washer to a deck or to, you know, maybe accidentally your foot, 
right? That's pressure, that's fluid going at tissue. When we're looking at the kidneys, it strains the kidneys or it strains the heart. Wherever the blood's going, it's going to strain. So that's obviously an issue. Um, but there's a lot of, lot of worse things that come out of high blood pressure. So when we look at it from basically a TCM perspective or an herb perspective, there's about three different forms of it that we see, right? And there, there may be more, but typically the pattern we see is either it's a liver wind issue, it's a heart blood stasis issue, or a basically a kidney yin deficiency or a kidney deficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we say stasis, like there's usually just less movement or there's obstruction. So when we say heart blood stasis, we're looking at things more like placking, atherosclerosis. Um, when we're looking at liver wind, which is probably something I see the most common, like people who like you go into the doctor's office and you're stressed out, you're nervous, you're anxious, blood pressure goes up, mm -hmm. right? A lot of that can be liver wind, um, that stress causing the blood vessels to constrict. Um, and then there's, you know, there's also the kidney side of it, just because the kidneys maintain and regulate blood pressure. Exactly. Uh, balance minerals, like you were talking about. Right? Yeah. So, um, but where, where should we start here, Aaron? What do you think? Oh, man. Let's talk about, since we're talking about the kidneys and the minerals, let's talk about that. Um, a lot of people don't know that your kidneys play a vital role in managing your, your blood pressure. They also play a vital role in managing your electrolytes, your minerals, and keeping everything just like finely tuned in your, in your body in terms of um, those minerals and electrolytes and your blood pressure. So your calcium and your magnesium are directly correlated to your blood pressure. So a ton of people, like the vast majority of people are extremely deficient in magnesium. And, um, this is not, you know, a secret or anything like that. You can Google it and a lot of literature will pop up on that. Um, the magnesium does like hundreds of different functions within your body. It helps to regulate your blood pressure. It helps to calm down your muscles and, and make healthy, you know, smooth muscle tissue. Um, it helps with, you know, balancing out your hormones, helping you to stay calm, cool, and collected, helping with sleep, neurological function, brain function, like you name it, magnesium is involved in that process. And so many of us are deficient in magnesium. And a lot of these drugs that are used to correct a blood pressure issue, unfortunately also deplete magnesium and calcium and phosphorus and things like that further out of the body. The other thing is a lot of people are terrified of sodium when they have high blood pressure and they're on these super low sodium diets, which table salt is poison. We don't want to be eating table salt ever, ever, ever. But we do want those those cell salts. So your Celtic salt, your Himalayan salt, sea salt, you know, things like that that are a full spectrum of all your minerals, all your electrolytes, perfectly balanced by nature. You do need sodium. Um, without sodium, you know, your muscles aren't going to work the way that they're supposed to. Your potassium levels are going to get all messed up. Your blood pressure is going to be even more messed up. I've even had people do um, salt water drinks, which is called soul water, um, to regulate their blood pressure, just drinking salt water. And they're like, my blood pressure is fine. I'm like, that was an easy and extremely cheap fix, you know? So, um, you do need that sodium. You just need the right amount of sodium. And if even sea salt is causing fluid retention, then there's something else going on in the body. It's not the sodium. It's the, your body is sending you communication saying like, Hey, something's going on here. Something's not quite right. It's not able to utilize that mineral appropriately. So I'm going to share my screen because one of the labs that I use, um, has this fantastic nutritional correlation wheel that talks all about hypertension and the different deficiencies. So share my screen, share my screen real quick. Okay. Can you see that Colton? I can. Yep. Okay. Awesome. 
Okay, so in the middle here, we have hypertension. This is what we're talking about, aka blood pressure concerns. And we have all these nutrients all the way around um, and what they do for the body in terms of our blood pressure. So you'll see over here, we have magnesium, you know, promotes the dilation of the blood vessels and things of that nature. Um, and then calcium right underneath that, you know, op optimal calcium um, status reduces the, the constriction within the arteries and things like that. So especially for people, and it says right here, um, and this is from SpectraCell Laboratories, as you can see at the bottom, is, you know, people that have calcium issues um, also tend to have that salt sensitivity in mm -hmm. correlation to their, their, their blood pressure issues. And then we have some other nutrients that I kind of want to just touch on here. You see, we have some B vitamins over here, B2, B6, um, and then folate is also in that B vitamin family, biotin up at the top, also in that B vitamin family. Um, so B vitamins just do so much for the nervous system, for how we break down and digest food, our energy levels, detoxification, just cellular health and regeneration in general, you know, and just the ability of the body to function the way that it was intended. And so many people are low on every single B vitamin. It's crazy when I get um, right. my nutrient panels back and they're low on literally every single B vitamin. And it's like, well, no wonder you have no energy and you can't digest anything and your blood pressure is all messed up and your hormones are all messed up. Like you literally have no fuel, no, no B vitamins that make your body do what they're supposed to do. Um, and then we have, you know, some amino acids that help really build the body, you know, so your cysteine, which helps to build glutathione, which you see up at the top here, which is an antioxidant that is the master antioxidant. It detoxes heavy duty stuff out of the body. It's, it's vital to the liver. It's vital to, um, cellular regeneration and health and digestion and, and inflammation levels and things like that. And then we have that, that carnitine, um, which is also super, super important to cellular regeneration and health, driving nutrients into the cells and keeping that cell membrane nice and soft and supple. Oleic acid is a fatty acid. So you'll find that a lot in olive oil, um, real olive oil, you know, and then you'll also find it in fish oil, which oftentimes Colton and I will put people on what's called a balance oil um, from Zenzino, which is a Nordic fish oil plus a high polyphenol olive oil and polyphenols are an antioxidant. They're nature's preservative. So they preserve the fish oil from going rancid. Most fish oil that you get over the counter is already bad before you even take it home and open it. So it's actually adding to your inflammation instead of taking away from it, which is a huge issue. So the one that we use is scientifically proven to um, help reduce inflammation in the body for up to 30 hours. So that's pretty significant considering there's only 24 hours in a day. If you're taking every day, you're reducing that inflammation pretty significantly, pretty quickly. So with people taking that balance oil, we've seen amazing things in a very short period of time. Like we're talking weeks, um, with people's blood pressure, we're all of a sudden, you know, on that blood pressure medication, we're getting really, really low readings and the doctors are starting to have to wean them off. So, um, that's been really monumental for people. Um, so a lot of these drugs that, you know, people are taking are depleting even further these vital nutrients that are needed to, um, control that blood pressure and keep it at a healthy level naturally. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whenever someone has blood pressure issues, I always like to do a micronutrient panel so that we can see what's actually getting into the cells. Um, when you, when you have like a CBC with differential at, at your yearly appointment with your doctor, um, there are a few minerals on that panel. You know, there's magnesium, there's calcium, there's phosphorus, potassium, things like that, proteins. Um, but that is a red blood cell test. So that's only testing what is floating around in your blood. I don't really care if you have enough calcium floating around in your blood, if it's not getting into your cells and doing what it needs to be doing for the bo body, which it can only do when it's in the cell, then you're deficient. So the test that I run through SpectraCell um, 
is a leukocyte test. So it's looking at a part of the white blood cell. So in that, we're able to tell what's actually permeating that cell membrane being used by the body. Um, and, and in that, we're able to see like true chronic deficiency because on a CBC with differential, the minerals almost never come back out of balance unless someone is in extremely rough shape and has, you know, some kind of really dire, um, you know, metabolic condition or something like that. So, um, I always default to a leukocyte test over a red blood cell test, just because we get true, you know, data on what the, the cells are, are dealing with, what the body is dealing with on a cellular level. Uh, so, so that's that. Um, and then we can also do that fatty acid test to figure out like, where are your fatty acids? You know, 95% of people are way off kilter with their essential fatty acids. And that plays a huge role in heart health, um, and blood pressure and things like that as well, which is also not a secret. You can Google, you know, your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio and the benefits of that, having that at a three to one ratio, the average Americans at 25 to one or higher, the average person I test is at like 35 to one or higher, um, mm -hmm. is what I've kind of seen in my practice. So, you know, getting that under control in and of itself will help with, with blood pressure stuff. But from an herbal perspective, um, Colton and I, with a lot of, you know, difficult cases and stuff like that, where people are on multiple blood pressure meds and have been for a long period of time, we've had some pretty great success with getting to the root cause of that herbally and also correcting other underlying causes within the body. So I want mm -hmm. Colton to kind of elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah, for sure. And then, so I guess we're, we were looking at, we're, a lot of the mineral issues, right? And when people mm -hmm. get mineral deficient, um, like we were saying, the main organ that does that is the kidneys, right? So the component that supports the kidneys to filter minerals is the adrenal glands, right? When they mm -hmm. secrete aldosterone in a proper manner, it's gonna filter out basically what you need and what you don't, right? What's the excess? What's the um, things we need to keep? And so we take a stance at looking at the adrenals. We use a formula called XL, which has Romania root, has a bunch of other herbs, support the adrenals. It does what we call supports kidney yang, right? Basically gets them the energy, get them moving. Um, we also look at, um, like if somebody's getting a lot of headaches, that's a sign of kidney heat or back aches, right? Kidney heat's basically kidney inflammation. If they're stressed, if the pressure's been too high for too long, there's a ton of other things that can happen there too. Kidney infection, stones. We use our formula KS to help to just reduce kidney inflammation or to help do that. Um, but when we're really looking at like the blood pressure itself, my favorite thing is the breeze. Mm -hmm. The breeze, it, it's got a lot of herbs in there. It's very encompassing. Um, it's something I've had people use, like if they get stressed or nervous or anxious, they take a couple of capsules of the breeze, say they're going to the doctor, they take it, blood pressure looks great. I've had people with, you know, they're on four different medications. Their blood pressure was like 200 over a hundred. Yikes. And they were only taking the breeze. They took it for a month and it was like down to like, I want to say it was like, it was years ago, but it was like. I want to say it was somewhere around 150 over 85 after a month. That's awesome. Which versus 200 over 100, like that's a win, but still it's super high. Right? Yeah. So you gotta keep working at it. Um, and you got to look more at root causes because the breeze should usually help bring it down. But if you have a liver deficiency or you have placking or you have um, just imbalances throughout the body, you got to work on that too. Otherwise, you'll get to see results, you're just not going to get exactly where you're going. You want to cross the finish line, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but there's other things we use for placking. We use an herbal formula called CV, and it kind of just helps support the cardiovascular system as a whole, get things moving. There's a red sage in there that's really good for helping to protect the arteries as well as um, help reverse some of the damage of the placking. Um, but yeah, we you know, also support the liver. We use something called brown, but um, at the end of the day, it really depends on like what's causing the issues for you. 
and there's ways to approach it, right? What's the imbalance? How do we reverse that? How do we replenish what's been depleted? Mm -hmm. You know, and if somebody's on four meds, what's what's the long-term issues of taking those? Did you read the um, FDA drug sheet on it? What are the side effects, contraindications? Yeah, because um, a lot of times those are things that people come to us also struggling with, you know, yeah. insomnia and um, things like that, where mm -hmm. liver issues, kidney issues, you know, long-term use of these, these drugs can cause some of these other issues that then you're seeking medical advice for and things like that. And, um, if we just get to, which as functional medicine practitioners, like we're just trying to get to the, the root of the issue, like why is the blood pressure high? The body doesn't do these things for no reason. It's not bored. And like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to make the blood pressure really high. You know, like there's, there's a reason for that going on. So our job is really to help you figure out why that is for you, which is why we, um, really customize all of our protocols for everyone, you know, so we could have a hundred different people with high blood pressure, that doesn't mean that they're going to be doing the exact same protocol. You know, they're, we're going to dive deep into what's going on with each individual. Are you a person that your minerals are just in balance or, you know, your liver is off kilter, your kidneys are off kilter, or do you have systemic infections? Like those are all different protocols, different approaches. And some people have a combination of those things. So our job is really to figure out what your body is trying to communicate with you so that we can get you back to good as quickly as humanly possible. So cool. get you feeling good. You feeling good. <laughs> all right. So, um, yes, if you would like to have a consultation with myself or with Colton or with both of us combined, we do that as well. Um, you can contact me via my website, which is just my name, erinthole.com. You can also shoot me an email at thole.erin at gmail.com um, and request your free consultation. Um, we're both location independent. So we have clients all over the country. We do everything over the phone and Colton, do you want to give your info? And I'll also put it up on the video too. Of course. So you guys want to give me a call the number here is 612-808-9235. Give me a call. Awesome. Thank you. And we also welcome questions. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to reach out. Thank you. Sure. See you next time.